Hey, are you Barclays ready? Now, don't you worry about us. Oh, we ain't, are we, Jack? <laughs> no, we ain't worried about them Barclays at all, Zach. <laughs> Three years running. Our ranch is one of the rodeo. We're going to do it again just to keep you Barclays humble. Oh, well, no, I wouldn't count on that. I mean, you Mortons may be in for a little spry. Uh, it seems to me I recollect you saying the same thing last year. <laughs> <laughs> you just keep on laughing. Nick? Now, my papa says you Barclays are sporting. Well, now, your papa is right. What is your sport? Well, I got a thousand that says we win the rodeo. And I got five that says you don't. A thousand? A thousand. You got a bed? You got you a pet. What was that all about? Huh? Oh, you mean, you mean the Mortons? The Mortons. Yeah, well, it was just a little sporting proposition on the rodeo. Uh -huh. uh huh. How much? Well, five hundred thousand. Want a piece of it? You got to be out of your mind. You don't want a piece of it. Well, somehow I have a little feeling about this rodeo. Well, who had a little feeling about last year's rodeo, and how much did that cost? Oh, well, now that was different. This year the Mortons. The are Mortons gonna... are going to walk all over us, and you know it. Zach baited you, and you bit. What would you have done? Passed. Passed. Nick, will you use your head? They're even stronger this year, and two of our hands are laid up. Well, now whose side are you on? Ours, ours, but we haven't got a prayer. They've recruited every cowboy between here and Waco. Uh oh. I can win that rodeo for you. Joshua Watson, for hire. About time you got back. I just got a little busy in town, so all thank you. You always get busy in town when there's work to be done here. Well, you're gonna thank me for it this time. For what? For Joshua. Joshua Watson. Be my brother Heath. Howdy. He's gonna win that rodeo for us single-handed. Well, that's a pretty big chore. Uh-huh. Can you rope? Better than most. Ever do any bulldogging? One more than my share. Can you ride a bronc? That's my best. That's your best, huh, Josh? Well, now, let's see. Charlie? Nick, wait a minute. Uh, Charlie! Yeah, Nick? Saddle up a batten and bring him here, will you? Uh, Charlie, I said saddle up a batten and bring him here. I'll give my hand. All righty. Nick, what are you trying to prove? Oh. Man's word, he said uh, that was his best. Yeah, but you know, Archie and Dale both got busted up trying to ride that horse. Mm. You going to ride that horse? Yep. Do you know what you were doing? I know. They call that horse a bad one. The name means devil. A lot of spirit. I would say, yeah. No, I never rode a horse before to prove a point. Oh? What do I get for breaking him? Name it. How about the horse? <laughs> All right. You break him, he's yours. All right. He 
You don't have to ride him. Well, I've been riding the devil all my life, he. He ain't throwed me yet. Mister, you gotta be the best to ride this horse. Go <laughs> <Or> crazy. <laughs> That horse. Haven't you had enough? Ain't a man can't beat road, but ain't a horse can't be road. Mm. Easy, horse. Easy, boy. Ain't no need to fight. Cause I'm gonna break you. eating out of his hand two minutes after he stepped on it. Well, how does he measure up to the Morton? Better. You ask Keith when he comes in. But then we have a chance of winning this year. Well, with Joshua riding for us, we have a chance. Sure you wouldn't like to make a little bet, Jared? No, I wouldn't like to make a little bet. As a matter of fact, I'd feel a lot better if we called this whole thing off. For the first time in four years, we have a chance of winning this rodeo, and he wants to call it off. Why? Because it stopped being just a contest between two ranches. The whole thing's getting out of hand. Because I made a bet. No. Well, all the hands out there have made bets, too, you know. Nick, it has nothing to do with the betting. Now, you remember what happened last year, that fight with the Mortons in the saloon? Uh, boys were just letting off a little steam, so... Uh-huh, and then what followed that? They saw that our water holes, we had to spook their cattle. We should have done worse. Nick, can't you see what's happening? This isn't a rodeo anymore. It's turning into a feud. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Four years ago, we started this rodeo as a constructive way of handling the rivalry between us and the Mortons. Now, if it hasn't worked out, perhaps we should call it off. Mother, this rodeo is my responsibility. I'm not about to call it off. Nick, what if somebody gets killed? That is also my responsibility. Sure you wouldn't like to make a little bet? Oh, you mm. hardhead. <laughs> Are you going to keep laughing like a blamed hyena all night long? I can't help it, Paul. I keep thinking about Nick Barkley. You know, he ain't ever going to learn his lesson. Man's got pride. You can't fault him for that. I ain't faulting him. It's his money that's going to buy us that new breeding stock in Denver. And, uh, I guess you plan to, uh... Go to Denver yourself and pick up those critters. Yeah, me and Jay. It's a pretty long trip to Denver. A couple of young fellas could get into trouble in a wild town like that. Well, we sure aim to try. You know something? 
Barclay's got no monopoly on pride. You boys have done everything. I've asked of you and more. And you've raised up just like I hoped you would. Tough, skilled, and you don't know the meaning of the word lose. Uh. Hey, Paul? Is that? In here, son. Oh, boy, I'm not glad you're up. Hey, where you been? Well, I've been in town. I was with a bunch of them Barclay hands. First off, I thought they was all drunk. They try and jump you, son? No, Pa. They all wanted a bet on the rodeo. Won't you tell them to line up? Well, yeah, sure. Told them they could bet any amount they wanted. I didn't figure it out till later. And then I found out they got this new hand out there. A black man. By the name of Joshua Watson. Talk is he's the greatest rodeo rider that ever got up into a saddle. Did you see him? No, I didn't see him, but... Oh, now, one black man ain't gonna scare us off. I got three champions riding for us and paying them more money than they've ever seen. Well, Pa, that's what bothers me. They know who we got riding for us, but they're betting on this Watson fella. They ain't any smarter than Nick Barkley. I know every good rider in the country, and I never heard of a Joshua Watson. You? No. Nope. <laughs> well, you can just stop your worrying, J.R., and just tell them to keep sending in the bets. Pa, I ain't worried. Ah. Well, okay, okay. Anyway, I, I figure if he's as good as they say he is, we can always hire him for ourselves. Right, Pa? <laughs> <laughs> like I was telling your brother, a Morton doesn't know the meaning of the word lose. <laughs> Save some of that vinegar for the rodeo. Where can we get along fine? I'll be fit come rodeo time. You know, me and you's pretty much the same, Joshua. How's that? Oh, I come from a sharecropping family. Hard work's all I've had. Most of it without pay. Well, like you, or the government cut you free. This rodeo means everything to me, Joshua. I got a wife and two boys back home. And I've been saving every penny I earned for the past two years to bring them here. I bet every bit of it on you. I'll do my best. Ready in a minute. Joshua, we never had anyone like you around here before. I guess my kind's rare in these parts. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean that. We, we've had a lot of Negroes working on this ranch. It's just that, well, you know, freed men come west, finding a new start. But we never had a hand that could do it all. Where'd you learn all this about ranching? Just come naturally, I guess. Where are you from? Lots of places. <laughs> well, most cowboys are. Where's your home? Place I'm at. shooting arrows out. All I did was pull the trigger. The snake did the rest. How's that? Well, when the rattler sees a bullet coming, he strikes out at it. Oh, well. I guess. Hey, 
Beautiful, Joshua. Thank you, Nick. From the sound of it, I'd say your father must have been a preacher. No, he was a slave, Nick. A field slave. Nick! Bert! Bert, what happened? What happened? I was... I was chasing strays. Bushwhacked me. Well, who did it? Bert, who did it? The Mortons. The Mortons? Joshua, take Bert to the ranch. Charlie, go on into town and get the doctor. What are you going to do? I got a little call on the Mortons. You're not going out there in the dark. By the time I get there, it'll be morning. Thank you, sir. 
You shot Bert. Well, you spook in our cattle. You're a liar. You be careful who you call in a liar. Well, if that wasn't an invite to a fight, I'd... <laughs> Of course I'm all right. I'm just fine. How'd you know I was here? Johnny told me. <sighs> sure you're all right? I don't need your help. I'm fine. Leave me alone. Keep your brother away from me, or next time we'll get it worse. All right, I'm ready. Uh, How's the eye feel? Fine, just fine. Sure you don't want a cold town? No, no, this will do nicely, thank you. Okay. said nothing. <laughs> I'd say that's the best one I've ever seen. It don't come any better. Hey, Nick, if you don't mind a little suggestion, I think the best place for that beefsteak is on a plate with some mashed potatoes. Who did it? Mortons. Ah, the Mortons. Well, you've just been itching for a fight with them, haven't you? And you finally got it. Well, they haven't heard the last of it either. Now, look, with that eye, you're not exactly ready for a beauty contest as it is, much less go back. Look, Jared, I'll worry about my eye. But they shot Bert. And they said that he was spooking their cattle, and it's a lie. Where are you going? I'm going up and have a hot bath. I'll be as good as new in an hour. Here, all you need now is a mashed potato. Forget it. What? And what you're thinking won't do any good. Well, then maybe i better have a little talk with Rufus, try and reason with him. The reason things are the way they are is because Rufus can't be reasoned with. Bird shot. They stomped on Nick. And they've gone too far. I say we go over to their ranch and crack a few heads. Are you with us, Josh? Yep, I'm with you. Well, come on, let's go. Where are you boys heading? To the Mortons. 
Nobody leaves this ranch. Is that understood? You've got a right to even things up. Any man that rides out to fight the Mortons is fired. Is that understood? And the Mortons? That's where I'm heading right now to have a little talk with them. <laughs> For the last time, I came out here for only one reason. To get you to call this rodeo off. And you rode out here for nothing. Yeah, what do you want to call the rodeo off for? We hear you got a man who can win it for you all by himself. Yeah. Yeah, ain't he as good as they say he is? <laughs> Listen, J.R., why don't you go open the front door and uh, let this man and the smell out of here. I'd like to remind you, gentlemen, a man's already been shot, badly wounded. He was lucky. I told my boys to shoot to kill any one of your hands that crossed my lines. And can't you see what a tragic mistake that is? Call it off before someone is killed. My boys have been looking forward to this for a year. And I'm not going to be the one to spoil their sport. I never thought I'd live to see the day when a Barclay would ask me to back off. Rufus, I'm not asking you to back off. I'm asking you to do what makes sense. You know, lads, up to the same thing. Morton's backing down. If you don't back down this time, it means a fight. So be it. And we'll settle this thing between us once and for all. You're just itching for a fight, aren't you, Rufus? Well, all right. The Barclays don't back down either. So if it's a fight you want, it's a fight you're gonna get. seconds. Well, he almost made it. Seven seconds ain't enough. Almost ain't good enough. He's got to stay on the animal eight seconds. All right, Jim, that'll be enough for the day. Go get yourself a hot bath. How do you do it, Joshua? I just stay loose, Nick. I let the animal do the work. You see, staying on the horse eight seconds is important. But what's more important is making it look good. You see, the easier you make it look, the quicker you catch the judge's eye. Oh, Jared. How's Jim doing? He's doing pretty good. Joshua here is working with him. If those Morton boys had any sense, they'd start worrying. I think they already are, Nick. Charlie tells me he saw Zack and J.R. up on the ridge watching Joshua with a pair of glasses. <laughs> you don't say. Well, you tell Charlie. Next time he sees those two poor boys, invite them on down here. It's a shame for them to stand all the way back on that ridge and strain their eyes. And I think maybe I'll treat your eyes to some fancy roping. Nick's roping's pretty fancy, ain't it? Yeah, yeah, it sure is, Joshua. Begging your pardon, Jared, you look a little worried. It ain't the rodeo, is it? No, 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 it's... Well, I guess it's just a lot of things all together. But I guess if nobody panics, everything will work out all right. Silas? Silas? Oh, yes, Miss Hardra. Oh, are you looking at the almanac? Yes, ma'am. Well, if you're checking on the weather for the day of the rodeo, it'll be sunny and warm, temperature in the high 80s. I checked it yesterday. That's good, Miss Audrey. But I wasn't checking on the weather. The almanac has all the famous rodeo riders in it. Oh, that's right. And if anybody can ride rodeo like Joshua can, he just might be a champion. Was his name mentioned in there? Yeah. No, it doesn't seem to be. But, of course, after we beat the Mortons... I bet they write a whole page on him. You're proud of him, aren't you? Yes, Miss Audra. He's something. You know, Silas, we don't really know very much about him. Have you had a chance to talk with him? We've talked once in a while. Oh, dear. 
Did he say anything about himself? No, ma'am. I guess that surprises you? A little. Joshua and I are the same in one respect. We are both black men. But we are different, Miss Audra. Different as day is tonight. In what way? I've always worked in a big house like this one. I was treated special because I belong to the house. All my life, I've been indoors. And Joshua? He's from the fields, from the outdoors. He's never known nothing but hard work and the whip. He's a new breed. He's restless. He's proud. And he's searching. Searching for a place that he can call home. A place where he can stand up as a man. Joshua, well, I gotta drop this by the bank. Have yourself a beer. I'll join you in a minute. Okay. Give me a beer. You must be Joshua Watson. You must be Rufus Morton. You know me? Well, everybody around here knows you more than you people don't exactly walk around on tiptoe, you know. <laughs> well, we have no need to. Truth is, you're not exactly a secret around here either. Can I talk to you? Talk? What you want to talk about? How would you like to work for me? I got a job. I'll pay you double what the Barclays are paying you. Nobody can guess what the Barclays are paying me. Oh, we'll see about that. I'll buy you a drink and we can talk. Bartender? I got a drink. Hey, boy. Are you refusing to drink with my paw? Man has a right to pick his own drinking company. Begging your pardon, Eve. The man asked me the question. And the answer is, yes, I'm refusing. Uh, you think you're too good to drink with us? You think what you want. You almost made it to the other world. Two kinds of men handle a gun like that. Outlaw or a lawman. And he's no lawman. Not tonight. Me and my saddle got a lot of work to be done before rodeo time. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, oh, Heath was telling me that Rufus Morton offered you a job. Twice your pay. You turned it down. How come? Well, your foreman's retiring at the end of the month. I'd like his job. Oh, now, wait a minute, Josh. That's, uh, 
A foreman's job? Why, that wouldn't pay half the money old Morton would. Well, you see, the way I look at it, it pays better. Well, you know something, Joshua? You might just be the man for the job. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Nick. Still having trouble with the Peterson case? No, no, I'm, I'm having trouble with my own stupid case. You know what I did today? I went over to the Mortons to see if I could talk him out of this rodeo. You what? Oh, you don't have to worry. I, I let that Rufus get me so mad, I told him we'd meet him head to head if that's the way they want it. Oh, that's better. No, it isn't better. Huh? Nick, let's talk about this rationally. Let's talk about what's best for the Barclays and the Mortons. Oh, now, come on, Mother. Think about it. Suppose we did cancel the rodeo. Well, we can't. The men have bet a full month's salary. They'd have to forfeit their money. All right, we can cover that. Is there another reason? Yes. What? Your ridiculous bet with Zack? No. Well, then what? The three years the Mortons have stomped us at rodeo. And this year, thanks to Joshua, we have a chance to stomp them, and I'm not about to pass it up. Oh, Nick. Well, now, what is all this about? J.R., take off your hat. What do you want? Your new hired man, Joshua Watson. Oh, yes, he said you offered Joshua a job, and he turned you down. I didn't come here to hire him, Victoria. I came here to take him in. What? Do you mean arrest him? What for? I think he's an outlaw. You think? If I could get him to Phoenix, I could prove it. Joshua turns you down cold. You never could stand to be turned down. Turning me down had nothing to do with it, Victoria. I do business in Phoenix. And the last time I was there, the law was looking for a black man who rode with Coleman's Raiders. And you think that Joshua is the man that they're looking for? He fits a description. All that dirty... You show me an outlaw that would turn down the money you offered Joshua. What makes you think Joshua's the man they want in Phoenix? After what I saw in the saloon, I'm sure of it. Uh, Rufus, that's a pretty serious accusation. I trust you have the evidence to back it up. There's plenty of evidence in Phoenix. I came here tonight to ask you to do the right thing. Oh, and uh, what was that? Turn Joshua Watson over to the law in Stockton. Rufus, I thought I knew how much this rodeo meant to you, but I had no idea how low you'd stoop to win it. You either turn Joshua Watson over to the law tonight, or I'll come back in the morning and take him by force. Mm -hmm, the streets of Laredo as I walked out in the street one day, I saw a poor cowboy all wrapped in white linen, all wrapped in white linen and cold as a clay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take me to green valleys and lay the sod on me for I'm a young cowboy and I know I've done wrong <laughs> things are going to be different for me and you horse the bark has offered us a home and we're going to take it you seem to have a way with that horse oh we got understanding you are some man Mr. Watson the Barclays are mighty proud of you and so am I well I thank you Silas they're counting on you to win the rodeo. I won't let them down. Of course, if he wasn't here, there wouldn't be no rodeo. And no trouble, huh? Yes. You asking me to ride out? I don't want to see none of the Barclays hurt. There's been a lot of trouble already. And there's a lot more coming. This rodeo means everything to Nick. And he's been good to me. He give me a job here at the ranch. Give me a home. And ain't no way I'm going to ride away from that. Joshua. Well? Rufus Morton says you're an outlaw. And unless we turn you over to the sheriff, he'll take you by force. We turned him down. Thank you, ma'am. 
No thanks are necessary if you're not the man they want in Phoenix. However, there's going to be trouble. It might even start a range war. And there's something I have to know before the fighting starts. What's that, ma'am? Did you ride with Coleman Raiders? No, ma'am. And you're not the man they want in Phoenix? No. Where are you from, Joshua? Well, I'm from a lots of places, Miss Barkley. Places with bad memories. Places I'd like to forget. on the east. Maybe he ain't coming. Morton's never backed away from a fight yet. He'll be coming. Take it. That's far enough, Rufus. Back off, Nick. You don't have a chance. Let's try us. Looking for a fight, we'll give it to him. Circle to the left. You're running away, aren't you? I guess Rufus Morton was right. You did ride with Hardy Coleman. I was another man then. That was a long time ago. Why? I was set free, but that was all. I had no home, no family, no place to go. Hardy took me in, taught me to ride, used my gun. Gave me a chance to be a man, or so I thought at that time. We're offering you a chance, a real chance. But if you run, it's all over for you. And if I don't run, there's three years waiting for me in Phoenix. We're offering you a lifetime right here on this ranch. Three years might not sound like a long time to you. But for a man that's been a slave, it's eternity. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. It ain't no use. I appreciate all you've tried to do for me, and I thank you for it. But ain't no way I'm gonna give up my freedom now. Then you're a coward. No, Miss Barkley. It's easy for you to judge me, ain't it? You with your fine ranch and your big fine family. Right? It wasn't always this way. When my husband brought me here, this was wasteland, barren land. We worked hard and suffered to make it what it suffered. is. Suffered? Suffered, you and your family? You don't know what suffering is. Suffering is watching your mother and father being sold on the auction block. Suffering is working hard all day till your body aches, give out and drop. Suffering is watching the world from the outside, knowing nobody wants you in. But times change, so do people. Not fast enough. Joshua, we've got to start somewhere. I'm sorry, Miss Barkley. Tell him I'm gone. 
And ain't no need fighting. Much longer. I'll go get some help. Down. They need help. Get the men on the north range. You all right? Go on, get. I'll be all right. Abaddon, the slaves used to travel by the stars. They'd find the Big Dipper and follow it north to freedom. Which way is freedom now? Which way do I go? How you fixed for ammunition? Oh, how's yours? About six rounds left, so. Hold your fire! Hold it! Hold your fire! Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold it! Joshua, get out of here! There ain't no need in fighting them, Nick. I'm the man they want in Phoenix. Yo, what? They had me right. I'm giving myself up. Paul, maybe it's a trick. We'll soon find out. Watson, did I hear you right? You're turning yourself in? Yeah, that's right. I'm turning myself in. Let's go. It's all over. Joshua. Sorry to cause you all the trouble, Nick. Well, why didn't you run? Well, I started to, but then I changed my mind. Changed your mind? What about? Yeah, I got to figure there ain't no way I can make a new life for myself until I find the right star. Yeah. Go get a job when I get out? It'll be waiting for you. All right. Enough, Nick? Ain't a man that can't be throwed, and ain't a horse that can't be rode. <laughs> 